Jimmy! Little Jimmy! My, how you're grown up! So good of you to come visit your grandma. Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. I... oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures, but sometimes they get ornery, just like my grandkids. Talk to you soon, dear. Another human. What was enough? Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Finally. I assume this is about... The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working stealth boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big horners to Night Stalker attacks, and would enjoy a little revenge. Got a problem, could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. Thanks. Muties. Our business is with the muties, not you.
What? I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Something on your mind? Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not gonna get it from us. Better watch out. Lily's been babbling about us back in again.
Someday, I miss being in the mud. Is there something else I can do for you? Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. I'll be waiting. Hello again, dear. Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. The equipment is hooked up and ready. Power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. <sighs> Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Ah, Lily smash! Yeah! How were those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero, but that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment. Once. A Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the Stealth Boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, Schumann. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. Andy! Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... I'm close to the cure. I can feel it. Lily's continued help will give me the last bit of data that I need. Permanent damage to her mind is a certainty. Even the cure won't help her. I understand. 
Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Absolutely not. Lily's done enough, and she doesn't need to do any more. We're close enough to a cure already, and don't need to rush it. Most of the time, I'm Dr. Hen- I'm also handy with tools, and once in a while- Give me a shout if you need anything else. Let me t Bye. Have you come to a decision on... All right. I'll dismantle the prototype to avoid any further incidents with the Nightkin. Talk to you soon, dear. Is there something else I can do for... Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. Promising. But I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the DiraFrame reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. iBot DiraFrame Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all DiraFrame assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro.
rather someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. There's too much... Welcome, sir or madam. Come back and see us again. Hello, potential customer. Fine by me. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm if you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. You really ought to avoid using those kinds of chems, but I'll see what I can do. 
All right, sit still and let me work. You're back. I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. Make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? That would be the Nemian subdermal. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will... That's all.
Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Follow close and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Explosive ordnance is what keeps the savages at a distance. Except you. There's something special about you, child. And it was the howitzers that gave you a chance to show it. Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev... Uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe. But the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance. Patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world. But I think we need to let it in, just a little, or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. I can take care of that robot problem for you. Just saying. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. was done for it, but you brought him around. That was some fine doctoring. I could learn a thing or two from you. thought of that yes outsider those men owe you their lives 
Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages, when it comes to medicine at least. The outsider, mother. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall. Excellent. Imagine you're the. F Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything, not even a hand grenade. and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Now that you know the story of our people, you must Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the waste, ignoramuses... That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a sav, an outsider. Anything else you want to know? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the Overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Exactly. We haven't detonated any atomic warhead since before I was born. But besides that, it's a heck with nitpicky restrictions. Anything else you... Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. Indeed we do. Very impressive. Anything else you want to know? You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis, and it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else? Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, 
I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Anything else you want to know? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. Yes! In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. Bye. I'd keep moving if I was you. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the general? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my way. You can't miss the array. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. Be sure to stop. I can take care of that robot problem for you. So you're the outsider. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. What I could use is some scrap metal. The other thing, you being from... That must be nice. Sharing yourself like that. Not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Have you seen her? The...
Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay, just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. Whoa, you're the app. Okay. See ya. Another glorious day in this man's army. Hello, outsider. Need something? An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Hot damn, you're right! It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Just so happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, so it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Take him out.
see the powers back on. The ants are all dead? Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Take him out. Take him out.
take him out. Welcome, sir or madam. All done right. Hey. Hey, what can I get you? What do you... All right. Yeah, I've got... Over the years, I've grabbed... But I'm referring to... Hey, if you're interested... What do you say? No problem. Take a...
Pleasure doing business with you. Welcome back. Like I always say, a polite society. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the table's more friendly. I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before late. There. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where... Thanks. Morning. 